Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. And what we're gonna do today is review and demo this Harbor Freight mini tire changer. All right, so the mini tire changer is made by Pittsburgh Automotive, which is a brand that Harbor Freight sells. You can pick up one of these for less than $50. I think right now they're $46.99 on the website. And what this is for is changing small tires on something like a golf cart or lawn tractor, ATV, stuff like that. And Harbor Freight advertises that this will work with four to 12 inch rims. After we cover a little bit about the setup, we're gonna go ahead and remove and mount a tire on an eight inch tractor wheel. So let's go ahead and get started. The tire changer requires that you mount it to some sort of solid foundation. Uh, there's two ways you can do that. You can do it the way I have it done here, which is bolted right to my bench. You can see that's very solid. And this piece then mounts in there with a pin that goes through here to hold it in place. The other way you can do this is you can mount this piece alone into something like a vise that's also mounted to a bench. Either way will work. Personally, I think this way is going to be more secure than in a vise because in a vise you might have it torque to the side or something like that. So once it's in here, it's not going to go anywhere. So in addition to the base and the holder, uh, the tire changer also comes with a couple spacers, an alignment disc, locking nut, um, the breaker tool, and a mounting and dismounting tool. So then whenever it comes time to put the tire on, the, the, uh, the wheel is going to mount here and you'll stack the various uh, alignment discs and spacers in place to secure the wheel on to the, to the base. After we secure everything, we're going to go ahead and break the bead on both sides of the wheel and then we'll remove the tire with the mounting slash dismounting tool. Okay, so we broke the bead on the first side. We're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. Something else I thought I should mention before I go any further is that you obviously you wanna do this with no air in the tire. Um, this tire was already flat, so I didn't have to let any air out of it but I did take the valve stem core out so um, I wasn't fighting you know, that little bit of pressure as I'm trying to squeeze the tire. Okay, so now we're going to use this uh, mounting dismounting tool to go ahead and pop the tire off.
right, so there we go. We got the old tire off. Now it's time to put the new tire on. All right, so um, we got the tire all the way on there. Um, as you can see, I don't have a valve stem right now. Uh, I didn't realize that this had a tube in it and I didn't plan on changing the valve stem. And I don't have a valve stem here, but for the purpose of today's video, we were just showing how to dismount and mount a tire using the Harbor Freight mini tire changer. So if there was a valve stem or a tube in it, at this point, it would be time to go ahead and, and air up the tire, make sure the beads seal and we'd be good to go. Overall, I think you know the the tire change is pretty good for the price. Um, it's a little tricky getting a new tire on. Um, as you can see, it, you really got to make sure that you hold it with your hand to make sure the tire can't spin, or part of the tire that you've already gotten seated doesn't come back out as you spin around with the tool. But uh, overall, it beats taking your uh, wheels and tires somewhere to pay somebody else to do it, and for uh, less than fifty dollars, it gets the job done. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.